Hey Flock, Mike here from Epic Duck Studios, and today I'm going to demonstrate painting sunset windows on Matchbox or Hot Wheels cars. Specifically, I'm going to be using this car for Gaslands, and it's got one nice big wraparound window with a top canopy as well. Really no rear window to speak of, so I'm just going to be doing this one large window in a sort of like a fading sunset pattern. And for that I'm going to be using Scrag Brown, Averland Sunset, Flash Gets Yellow, and some P3 Moro White. I may also dip into a little bit of Fire Dragon Bright. I haven't decided yet, so I've just kind of got it sitting here on standby. And now I'm going to actually begin with the middle color here, the Averlyn Sunset. I'm just going to base coat the whole window with this color. Now over the darker blue here, this will take two to three coats to give good coverage. So it actually took about four coats to fully cover this, mostly because there's a couple areas like this one where just a little bit of the paint just never seems to want to adhere. I'm just going to leave that for a moment. So the next step here is to start bringing in a the darker brown at the top, so that's the scrag brown in this case. So I basically want to do a top to bottom fade. So I'm going to do kind of like the brown at the top. And that doesn't count for the top panel here. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. But for the windows, it's going to be brown at the top. Then this, you know, Averlyn Sunset in the middle. And then down towards white at the bottom. I'm just going to get the wet palette here in the shot so you can see what I'm doing with it. So this color, I want to go on a little bit thinner. So I'm going to just mix a little bit of water in with it. I'm going to start just with this side panel window here. Gonna, roughly a third of it should be this brown to start with and then we'll blend it back in a moment and the windshield it's got a longer tape I'm just gonna bring this a little bit further down you can see it's not a really smooth transition yet that's a pretty blocky color but that's okay at this stage and now I'm gonna do is mix roughly 50 50 of the two colors so a little Averland sunset into the scrag brown and that's gonna join right between the two layers. Now I'm gonna go back to some straight Avalon Sunset with just a little bit of water mixed in. And I'm blotting most of that off my brush, so I have just a very little amount here. And that's gonna just kinda of come back over the transition Actually, maybe pull it downwards. And then we just sort of keep working these same transitions back and forth until they're nice and smooth. And we can go work a little more scrag brown back into the top here. You can see sort of with just each successive pass, the blend gets just a little bit smoother. We're not looking for perfectly smooth, I'm not looking for, you know, an airbrushed style, really, really smooth gradient like that, but I don't want it to look really chunky either. So that's roughly the top half of the window. Now to do the bottom half, I'm going to jump in with a little Flash Gets Yellow. Now 
Now this paint is a fair bit thinner, so you can see it's kind of going on a little more glaze-like. I did mix some water in there as well though, but in general it doesn't tend to be a thinner yellow than say, you know, the scrag brown is. And that's mostly the nature of yellow pigment. Yellow pigment in general tends to be a little bit more on the translucent side. You'll find that most more highly opaque yellows have a bit of a red tint or a brown tint to them. Let me can bring this up just sort of, you can see there's a little bit of a window frame there. You can bring this up just a little bit around the edge. What we'll do is we'll highlight that bit of frame later. You know, add a little black isolating line to it. And then next up, we want a little bit of pure white here. We need some P3 Mora white. Now this I want to use more opaquely because I'm not really trying to get a blend out of it. I just sort of want to underline the window with it. I'm just going to bring a little bit of that up the uh, window frame here. So now that I've done the white outlines, I'm going to take just a little bit of the Flash Gets Yellow and just back blend that white a little bit so it's not quite so stark. And then, if I'm unhappy with it from here, I can just play back and forth with the, uh, the fade a little bit. In this case, I'm going to take just a little bit of Avalon Sunset. And just lightly glaze back from the flash kits. Now, so that's the, you know, windshield and side windows done. I'm also going to basically do the same to the top panel here, except it's going to start with, you know, just basically almost just move the pattern up. So it's going to be darkest towards the back and lightest towards the front here. All right, and there's our completed sunset windshield. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's plenty more here on YouTube. You can also join me twice a week at twitch.tv slash epicduckstudios on Thursday and Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern, where I do stream my painting live. If you want to support the show, you can do that at patreon.com slash epicduck. Even giving as little as a dollar a month helps keep the lights on and the paint flowing. You can also help by hitting subscribe here on YouTube or sharing this video with some friends. Thanks a lot!